Turtles are a fascinating group of reptiles with a rich evolutionary history and unique biological characteristics. They belong to the order Testudines, which has existed for over 200 million years, but Pantestidines appeared even earlier. Turtles are known for their distinctive feature of having a protective shell composed of an upper carapace and a lower plastron, providing them with excellent defense against predators. With their diverse habitats ranging from oceans and rivers to forests and deserts, they have adapted to various environments and display a wide range of feeding strategies and reproductive behaviors. Cynosaurus Fargus had a dorsal osteoderm body armor and broadened ribs forming a closed chest rib basket, traits that are seemingly transitional between turtles and other reptiles. There is no clear consensus on the phylogenetic position of this genus, it could be a common ancestor between turtles and sauropterygians, the group that includes plesiosaurs. Eorhynchocles is notable for its unusual combination of a turtle-style skull and a conventional reptilian body. The skull, for example, has an edentulous beak typical of all members of Testudines. However, the thorax region is markedly different from Odontochiles in lacking a shell, even though the ribs were wide and flat. It reached 180 meters in length. Odontochiles had a relatively small size, with an estimated length of about 60 centimeters it had a streamlined body and likely lived in aquatic environments. Its discovery has helped bridge the gap between turtles and their reptilian ancestors. It shows an intermediate stage in the evolution of the turtle's shell, with the plastron forming before the carapace. It is believed to have been a bottom-dwelling turtle that used its toothed jaws to feed on small invertebrates and plant matter. Progonocles is one of the earliest and most primitive known turtles. It represents an important stage in turtle evolution, providing insights into the origins of their unique shell. Had a broad and flat shell, composed of bony plates called osteoderms. Unlike modern turtles, its shell was not fully enclosed, and it lacked the ability to retract its head and limbs fully. It had a long tail and sturdy limbs with five toes on each foot. The limbs suggest that Progonocles was adapted for both terrestrial and aquatic habitats. However, the common ancestry of all living turtles is believed to be aquatic, while the earliest turtles are believed to have lived in a terrestrial environment. Cynomys had a relatively small size, with a carapace measuring around 30 in length. It had a low-domed carapace and a long, narrow snout. The overall shape of its shell and skull suggests an adaptation for a semi-aquatic lifestyle. It likely inhabited freshwater environments such as lakes and rivers. Its limbs were adapted for both swimming and walking on land. The diet of Cynomys is not well documented, but it was likely omnivorous, feeding on a combination of plants and small invertebrates. Myelania was a large turtle with some individuals reaching lengths of over 2, 50 meters its distinctive spikes and horns on the skull were likely used for defense and display purposes. These unique features make it one of the most visually striking turtle species in the fossil record. The exact extinction timeline of Myelania is still a topic of debate. While it is generally accepted that it went extinct around 50,000 years ago, some evidence suggests that a few isolated populations may have persisted until much more recently. Ninjamis was a large turtle with a broad head and distinct horn-like protrusions along the back of the head and an armored tail ending in a small tail club. Like in other Milaniids, its skull was highly ankylosed, obscuring the sutures between the individual cranial bones. However, the scales covering the head and the horns of Mylaniids leave prominent marks on the underlying bone, which have been used as substitutes for the fused sutures and are deemed diagnostic for the different genera.
The eastern long-necked turtle is an East Australian species of snake-necked turtle that inhabits a wide variety of water bodies and is an opportunistic feeder. It is a side-necked turtle, meaning that it bends its head sideways into its shell rather than pulling it directly back. When it feels threatened, this turtle will emit an offensive smelling fluid from its musk glands. This trait gives the turtle one of its other common names, stinker. It is carnivorous, eating a wide variety of animals. Northern snapping turtle inhabits freshwater environments such as rivers and streams, often in areas with rocky substrates. It is primarily aquatic but may occasionally bask on logs or rocks. These turtles are known for their strong swimming abilities and can be active both during the day and at night. This species is named for the serrated margin of the shell, mostly only visible in younger animals. The appearance of the Mata Mata's shell resembles a piece of bark, and its head resembles fallen leaves. As it remains motionless in the water, its skin flaps enable it to blend into the surrounding vegetation until a fish comes close. The Mata Mata thrusts out its head and opens its large mouth as wide as possible, creating a low-pressure vacuum that sucks the prey into its mouth, known as suction feeding. They use a specific method of seizing their prey. They will move the prey into shallower areas of water, surround the prey, and wave their front legs to prevent them from escaping. Once surrounded, the Mata Mata turtles will open their mouths and contract their pharynx, causing a rush of water that pushes the prey into their mouth. Gibba turtle is typically found in slow-moving rivers, streams, and marshes within its range. It is primarily aquatic, but may also venture onto land. It is a benthic species, meaning it spends much of its time on the riverbed, foraging for food and hiding among submerged vegetation. It is an important species in its freshwater ecosystems, contributing to the biodiversity and ecological balance of South American river systems. Western Swamp Turtle is primarily aquatic, spending most of its time in the water or in wetland habitats. It is a shy and secretive turtle that is well adapted to the swampy environment. It has the ability to estivate, which means it can enter a state of dormancy during periods of extreme heat or drought by burying itself in the mud. It is critically endangered, and it is considered one of the rarest turtles in the world. The species faces significant threats due to habitat loss, degradation, and fragmentation caused by urban development, agriculture, and altered water regimes. The African helmeted turtle has a flat and oval-shaped carapace that can vary in color from dark brown to olive. It is commonly found in various freshwater habitats, including rivers, lakes, ponds, and marshes. It is well adapted to both still and flowing water environments. It is omnivorous, meaning it consumes both plant and animal matter. Its diet includes a wide range of items such as aquatic plants, small invertebrates, fish, and carrion. For defense, the hinged plastron of the serrated hinged terrapin closes to protect the head and forelimbs. The serrated hinged terrapin also secretes a foul odor when threatened. Its preferred natural habitats are tropical lakes and rivers, where it can often be seen basking on logs or rocks, or even on the backs of sleeping hippopotamus. Quantumis was a massive turtle, with some individuals estimated to have reached lengths of over 2 meters it possessed large openings called fontanelles, these fontanelles were openings in the shell that reduced its weight while still providing some degree of protection. It is believed to have inhabited freshwater environments and its large size and strong limbs suggest that it was a proficient swimmer and may have been capable of traversing both shallow and deeper waters.
yellow-spotted river turtle can grow up to 45 centimeters long and weigh up to 8 kilograms. This species can be recognized by its black or brown oval carapace with distinctive low keels on the second and third scuts. Yellow spots on the side of its head give this species its common name. These spots are most prominent in juveniles and fade with age. It was one of the foreign species exploited by the American pet turtle trade in the 1960s. Importation of this species is now strictly regulated by federal law, but a captive, self-sustaining population exists in the United States. The jaws of carbonomies were massive and would be powerful enough to eat crocodilians, that were abundant in the first neotropical forest of the Saragin Formation. It was one of the largest known turtles to have ever existed. It had a carapace measuring about 1.5 meters in length, making it comparable in size to a small car. Based on its anatomy and the environment it inhabited, Carbonomies is believed to have been an aquatic or semi-aquatic turtle. The carapace of Stipendomies was wide and heavily built, providing substantial protection for the turtle. One of its notable features is the significant size difference between males and females. Males had larger carapaces and more robust skulls compared to females. It inhabited various freshwater environments, including rivers, lakes, and wetlands, within the ancient ecosystems of South America. The Madagascan big-headed turtle is one of the most endangered turtles in the world. The main threat for this species is that they are heavily exploited for food, caught in nets, fish traps and by hooks and lines. It is also hunted for illegal export to Asia for the traditional medicinal market. Another threat is land development as it destroys its natural habitat. Despite their vulnerability to extinction, they are commonly eaten for food and they are still commonly shipped from Madagascar to Asia to help meet the demand of Asia's traditional medicine market. 